Today I wanted to show you how I created a semi-automated finance news channel with the help of a Python script and some AI tools. Let's go. So this was the plan I laid out for this news channel. Uh, I needed first to find a finance news source that I could scrape with a Python script. Of course I needed to write the Python script that I call the news fetcher. And so when I had this news uh, I needed to summarize it with the uh, OpenAI's GPT-3 and take this summarized newscast script and do a voiceover with uh, Azure. Just collect some finance b-roll clips and music and put it all together in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Then upload the final video to the finance news channel on YouTube. Okay, so I just wanted to start by showing you the Python script I wrote for this. So this basically uses just um, uh, beautiful soup to scrape some data off the web and request of course but uh, this is fairly simple the, um, here's the root source I have targeted that we are going to scrape there's some more details into it but I'm not gonna go through that now because you need to find some classes and stuff but basically when I run this now this script is going over to this link that I'm gonna show you now to scrape out these 10 headlines with the description under here in Google News and the search term is stocks so when I run this script now let's just run this okay then we get this file here called stock news Basically, we can see that <coughs> this is working because here are the headlines here and here and we get the, the description and the URL. We are not going to use the URL today, but uh, it could be helpful sometimes. So this is basically without going into any details how this script works. And of course, when the finance uh, or a Google News site updates, we can always run it again to get new inputs. Okay, so now that we have all the data from the Python script, we just copy all of the text. Head over to OpenAI's GPT-3 Playground. I'm just going to remove some text here. Then I have this prompt that says, write a newscast script from the text below with minimum 500 words as much. Let's go for 300 words. Then we have this text. I paste all the text from the scrape data in here. And all I have to do next is click submit. I'm probably gonna speed this up because it takes some time and um, because I also have to go over to Azure Space Speech Studio to create the voiceover. So I see you at the end of it. Okay, so what I did here was just I copied the script that OpenAI put out for me, pasted it into the Azure Speech Studio, just shows a voice with a newscast style. Then I just made some adjustment until I was happy. Then it was just export the file and use it for the voiceover. Okay, so we now have the voiceover. Just let's just have a quick uh, look at it. Welcome to our stock market update. The stock market is actually going up in July, with stocks having a good month overall. Okay, so I think it sounds good. Now I am just going to get some B-roll clips and some music, and then it's gonna be editing. So I started just going over to Storyblocks to find some B-roll clips that fit the financial theme of this video. Then I just went to Adobe Brush, put all this together, just put the B-roll clips together and uh, of course I had the voiceover. Uh, then I just looked for some nice music for the video and just clipped it all together. And that was about it. So the next thing I wanted to do was just to upload the video and that was just basic, same thing, have an easy thumbnail and just uploaded the video to my YouTube channel. Okay, so now I have completed the video. Now it's just time to watch the final result.
Welcome to our stock market update. The stock market is actually going up in July, with stocks having a good month overall. 10 of the 11 industry sectors of the S&P 500 are flashing green led by consumer discretionary information technology. However, some analysts are warning that the bear market isn't over yet, and that a barrage of incoming earnings reports could spell more trouble for the struggling stock market. Key facts to remember are that the S&P 500 has rallied about 8% to 3,960, and that a number of stocks are still down for the year. Some stocks to watch today include Wipro, Indus a and Bank, Adani, Enter, CAD, Sonata, and SBI. As of 7.25 a.m., the SGX Nifty Futures quoted at 16,505 as against the spot Nifty close of 16,520 in trades yesterday. The reason behind a mysterious trading surge in stocks like Berkshire Hathaway has been revealed. Berkshire Hathaway's Class A shares are among the market's most expensive stocks priced above $400,000 apiece and therefore it was often one of the least traded stocks. However, in recent months there has been a surge in trading activity in the stock. Stocks making the biggest moves pre-market include Baker Hughes, Biogen, Netflix, and more. Netflix reported better-than-expected quarterly earnings though revenue did fall slightly shy of Wall Street estimates. Earnings optimism is helping to boost stocks and the dollar today, with the European Central Bank being eyed. U.S. stocks are rise while European shares close lower. The dollar bounces from two-week low. Oil prices are down after U.S. inventory data. Stocks making the biggest moves after hours include Carnival, United Airlines, Las Vegas Sands, and more. Carnival stock dropped 7% after the company reported a wider-than-expected loss for its latest quarter. That's all for our stock market update. Stay tuned for more updates throughout the day. Okay, so that was the final result. So if you enjoyed this video, I also think you should watch this video where I am creating a YouTube video from scratch only using inputs from the AI. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you again soon.